Guys, welcome back to today's video. So we are doing yet another Dollar Tree makeup tutorial. This is the look that I came up with today. I really love how it came out and we are going to be testing tons of new products today. I am so excited to share with you guys everything that I found and also just how they work and how I got this look because it was so much fun. It was so much fun to play with everything and of course this video is super chatty so grab your favorite drink, grab your favorite snack, get a matcha, get a latte, get a Starbucks, get a Dunkin and just relax and enjoy the tutorial and make sure you guys also subscribe if you love Dollar Tree content. I do tons of affordable beauty hauls, makeup, all the fun stuff on my channel. You don't want to miss out and let's get on into it. Oh my gosh, I have so much stuff to play with with you guys and I have everything right in front of me. I was gonna wait to haul everything but then I was like you know what I can't like save everything for a haul because I want to actually use it with you guys on camera. My chair keeps like sliding backwards by the way. Also these headbands are from Dollar Tree. Obsessed with coordinating them to like the outfit or shirt color I'm wearing. I'm wearing this really cute stretchy halter top. I am in love with halter tops for summer just like having an open back so nice and this is actually from charlotte russe i thought they didn't have charlotte russe anymore but they have them at one of my malls so i was excited about that um it's a total throwback new sponges i have an eye cream whoop i have lashes i have lip stuff i have a primer we've got strawberry blushes i have these new chubby sticks my lips are so dry, I need to put chopstick on right now. And then if I need anything else, I'll just reach into my handy dandy Dollar Tree a beauty basket, which is such a mess right now, a hot mess. Okay, so I'm thinking, I usually start with eyes, so let's go ahead and do that. I do have a new eyeshadow palette, and I have used these before. It's basically like one of the few eyeshadow palettes you can get at Dollar Tree, but I love them. They are so good, and I have not tried this one yet. It's Haute from LA Colors. I love these new formulas. You guys know I've been raving about them. I have used this one a bunch. This one is almost nude. Oh, you guys. Okay, just kidding. I have it already. Okay, so I'm going to put this into a giveaway. I was like, no, I don't have this one yet. All right, so you know what? We'll work with this, and I'll just try and use... <laughs> the palettes that I already have opened because I don't think I have any other eyeshadow yeah I don't think so um it's a little bit difficult to find new eyeshadows at Dollar Tree so I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with the LA Colors eye primer this was at Dollar Tree and I think I've told this to you guys this was at Dollar Tree for a very short time and I need to get my mirror they discontinued it uh, or not discontinued it they just stopped selling it I don't know why they did that because it's such a good product like it should be in their permanent line at Dollar Tree. I haven't put makeup on. I haven't filmed a makeup tutorial. Okay well I have filmed a makeup tutorial for this channel but both times the video got messed up. The first time I accidentally filmed in slow motion. I had to scrap the whole video. That was a ColourPop video. Then I went and filmed a second time. It was a really, really long video. It was going to be like 30 minutes. I had edited it uh, like three times. I was having such a horrible time with that video, just trying to um, export it, import it. And then the second half of the video, there was no sound. So I have to be really careful when I'm filming with this camera to make sure that the sound is working. I actually want to check right now because I'm nervous. Okay, the sound was working. I'm like such a nervous wreck about that now because once your sound is messed up, the whole video is like ruined, scrapped. I'm gonna go in with this palette. This is Night Out and I'm gonna take this shade in the middle and I'm just gonna use this as my transition shade. It's kind of like an orangey, peachy kind of color just to warm up the crease. I don't know what look I'm going for as per usual. I'm just winging it like I always do. You guys know I like... <laughs> I just kind of look at the colors and then go from there. Also, we'll try not to make this video like 30 minutes long. Let's see how that goes. Let me know if you guys have any fun plans this summer. Are you taking any trips? I am probably going to go see my sister. Well, both my sisters, hopefully in July. Um, one of my sisters lives in Florida and... 
I absolutely love visiting there. I feel like it's like my home away from home. Um, and I just love Florida. It's like a happy place for me. I actually really wish I could live there, to be quite honest with you guys. Um, because I just feel like I would be so happy there. I mean, who knows? But <laughs> I'm just kind of saying that. But I love at least getting to visit there. Um, and if I could live somewhere that's where I probably would live would be Florida in case you guys were ever wondering because I've mentioned this so many times I really like warm weather I really like being well I do live by the beach right now which I absolutely love I grew up going to the beach so I do love the beaches in Florida they are absolutely stunning like so much nicer than our beaches here I mean our beaches are really nice but the water in Florida is, and like the way that there's like no seaweed or anything is just honestly like unmatched. Wow, this is actually such a pretty, pretty color. My gosh, that's why I love these palettes, by the way, you guys. Yeah, I love going there. And I actually, it was funny, I did a video when I was there uh, last time on this beach we like going to by my sister's house. And I guess whoever like saw my TikTok thought I lived there and they were like, come visit our cafe and like you can do content and we'll give you like, you know, free drink, whatever, uh, like cat coffees. And I was like, oh my gosh, like so cool. It was like, this really cool cafe. And I was like, but I don't live there. I was like, but next time I go, if I can come and like bring my family, that would be amazing. Because I am very, I get very like homesick really easily because I am a homebody, you guys. I don't even like to travel, but um, I love being with my family and just like hanging out with them. We rarely get to see each other. Like, and I think I told you guys when I visited my sister at Christmas, I was sick the entire time like sick as a dog I could not even enjoy myself and it totally stunk so I want to like what's the word like I want like a redo like I want us to be able to hang out again so as uh, so I can enjoy my time um, because it got ruined at Christmas unfortunately um, I had the Roner and I was stuck in bed the whole time at my sister's house um yeah so that was not fun <laughs> but anyways that is in the past and now i'm just excited for this summer trip um my family was gonna come here i'm just deepening up the crease with this brown shade this is in a haute palette that i was showing you guys um my family was gonna come here to new york for like fourth of july but then um it's a little bit difficult because my sister one of my sister has two puppies um like she just got a second puppy so uh it's a little bit hard for them to travel with the puppies uh so yeah i was like I'm excited to go there and my sister is such an amazing host like she's so good at it and so like gracious i'm like not a good host like i'm not a hosting person i wish i was but maybe if i had like a house i don't know i i don't know she's so good at though like she's so hospitable like she just i don't know it's like a gift to be hospitable i think and she really is obviously we're like family but like she loves having people over but some people do genuinely have that gift of hospitality um like my neighbor he um is so hospitable and he cooks for us all the time like the neighbors and it is so sweet and he's a really good cook and he's so kind and he like likes having people over and i'm like wow like i can't picture doing this at my apartment like i literally never have people over because i i don't know it's just like not my thing to like host things but he likes hosting just like my sister likes hosting i already tell it's gonna be another long video and i told myself it wasn't going to be okay so i don't know again don't know what i'm doing here we're just winging it life eyeliner we're winging it guys i'm gonna take this shade this brown i don't know hopefully it'll show up on camera and i'm gonna use this like um well it's actually a mac 217 the og my og brush and i'm gonna put that in the outer corner oh it feels so good to like sit down and hang out i feel like i say that every time but it really is like i just love hanging out with you guys and chatting and i told you this is my little weekly hangout sesh these eyeshadows have no business being this good okay no business i also wanted to try i did you guys my videos somehow i don't know what it is but my videos on tiktok this week were popping off like they were getting a lot of views and i was like oh my gosh like i 
I have to keep up with this and then they like went down and like tanked again <laughs> but for three videos they were all getting over a hundred thousand views which was like insane um for me so I was like super excited about that there's also this concert here uh, that I really wanted to go to. It's like a radio station. Um, if you guys are from New York, you, you know KTU. And I really wanted to go. It's like Kylie Minogue, um, Ali Brooke, who was in Fifth Harmony. I had to think about that. And, um, oh, Deborah Cox. And Taylor Dane, who I absolutely love. And I was like, I want to go so bad. So I was like, maybe I can win tickets on the station because they've been giving away tickets. And I was like, who the heck would I go with? Like, <laughs> I'm so pathetic, honestly. I'm like, who would I go to this concert with? I, Nick, I don't, he might go. He, I don't know, though. I doubt it. Like, or I could ask um, maybe one of my neighbors. But I don't have, like, someone who I'm, like, super close with like that who I would be like call up and be like hey do you want to go to a concert with me and I don't know maybe people find that sad <laughs> I'm being really vulnerable right now but I don't like I don't know it's for me it's really difficult because I don't know I wish I did have someone that I could be like hey like do you want to do this with but I just don't so I mean if I'm doing something I usually do it by myself which I like or I'll do stuff with Nick or like the thing is if my family was here I would I think I've said this to you guys before I would do everything with them like my sisters are truly my best friends we like talk all day like text all day we send voice memos we just chat all day and just have so much fun in our like sisters group chat and I'm like so grateful for them because they're just like my god-given best friends and we're always there for each other and sisters are just such a special bond and i'm so glad i'm so grateful i have them i literally don't know what i would do without them like so and we just like laugh and we just we just get each other we just get each other if you have sisters you know like what that's like so yeah um so if, like i was saying if they were here i'm just putting this white on my inner corner if they were here <laughs> If they were here, they would be who I would take to a concert. Um, yeah, it's definitely hard in your 30s with like friends. I'm finding that for sure. And um, I mean, I'm not saying like, oh, this person, whatever. It's just like, it's just more difficult. And I like doing things on my own. I'm very much... Uh, someone like that I don't mind like I would not mind going to a concert by myself I've gone to the movies by myself like I literally just do I enjoy my own company and if you guys are the same let me know not to say I don't like being with people I do I do I am introverted but I do like chatting with people I feel like I'm a very friendly person I like talking to people fat chubby stick from Ioni it looks like the NYX jumbo pencil oh yeah oh yeah let's do it. oh yes 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 look at that you guys it's like an actual pencil you have to sharpen i already okay let's put on the inner waterline and see Ooh, pretty that looks good okay Okay, then I'm going to go in with Almost Nude, and I'm going to take this, like, golden shade. It's like a shimmery gold shade, and I'm just going to put that onto my lid. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this CoverGirl Exhibitionist, Exhibitionist Liquid Shadow, and I'm just going to put this on, like, a little brush. And that just like honestly like jazzes up the eyes so much. This is why I stink and love these like little glitters because it just like 
instantly transforms the look oh my gosh you guys i forgot i had this i have this new ioni liquid felt tip liner let's try this out this is from their electric jungle collection and i meant to use this last week or whatever last time i filmed the dollar tree makeup tutorial and i totally forgot so let's see what this looks like oh it's so cute it's like a little brush Okay, I think I need a mirror for this. I feel like this is one of those liners, though, that's going to get stuck in my uh, eyelashes. And yeah, I think it's going to make my lashes clumpy, but we shall see. Guys, okay, okay, I'm not mad at this. I am not mad. Move on to some mascara i have a couple of options i think i do actually i have this le mercedes volumizing mascara this is like a new brand that popped up this year i feel like i also have one from ioni but i think that's it's still in my haul bag so i'm just gonna use this one it says um it extends lashes and creates a dramatic appearance so let's see i am very picky with mascara so we have to see if this is gonna live up to my test and I also still have to curl my lashes. I'm just waiting for, ooh, I want this open. I'm waiting for the, uh, there we go, the liner to dry. Ooh, it's an hourglass spiky brush, you guys. It's really dark in here also. I hope the lighting is okay. Um, I should put a light over here. It's got like really weird out today. And let's see how this is. I'm a little nervous to see how this guy's gonna perform but yes I can feel my lashes are a little clumpy from that liner but I'm just gonna it's good at like combing through the lashes I don't know how much this is gonna actually like volumize though I'm I'm definitely gonna put on lashes today because it's so hard to find a good mascara at Dollar Tree, like genuinely. Is anyone else just like obsessed with Amazon? It's just so easy to get stuff on there, you guys. Like uh, the other day when I had my friend's baby shower, it was it last weekend? And uh, of course, little miss me procrastination. I was like, oh, I don't want to go to the store. And she actually had this like list on Amazon. I was like, yes, this is amazing. So like, all I had to do was go on Amazon and I found some stuff that she had, no one had purchased yet. And then I had like, so I was able to order it. It really came in a day, like absolutely wild. And I didn't have to go to the store and like search around, look like a lost puppy at the baby store. Like I usually am I'm like, where is everything? Um, and you don't have to print out a registry. You can just kind of like find stuff super easily and then you just like mark off online like that you got that item and you can like put your name and then with amazon you can put like your order number in case they need to like return it or anything but um yeah i got her this like baby care she wanted and i forget the name of it it's like a popular one and then uh this thermometer head infrared thermometer thing and then i just had like a this like baby onesie i had got at walmart weeks ago um i also had been like knowing i was going to this for a little bit so when i had went to tj maxx i had found like some bibs on clearance and then i found like this cute little headband for her because she has a corgi so i got her like a corgi headband for like you know her own self um but yeah the amazon thing was just so clutch and like the fact that you can get stuff <laughs> in a day like amazes me I'm still amazed by Amazon. Okay, I don't like this mascara. Oh, <laughs> I don't like this mascara at all, you guys. It sucks really bad. But I was going to say, I feel like, and let me know if you guys agree, with social media, we have so much access to other people's lives. And I feel like it's such a bad thing because, like, you're seeing this look into people's lives that we never really had before. Like, when back in say like the 90s or early 2000s like all you had was like magazines and reality shows sometimes um but now you're seeing and that was like really more like celebrities and stuff and now you're seeing oh gizzy <laughs> he just climbed up on all my stuff we're seeing like people who 
we're basically you're getting inside look into people's lives and you're seeing how another girl lives what her house looks like her decor people who they you know a lot of times have more money than you and they have these beautiful new builds and mansions and you're like oh my gosh like why don't i have that but it's just because we're getting this look into people's lives that we've never had before and it's honestly can be really damaging um so if you can just like have times where you're not scrolling or you're not on social media and honestly it'll make you feel so much better because you're not so focused on other people's lives and like what they're doing like and also i also don't like being in a place of um jealousy like coveting um because then it just also leads you to a bad place like i always want to be like happy for other people um yeah so i just always try and tell myself like be happy for that person like they worked really hard for that um and you know maybe one day you can have that too i don't have a new foundation so i'm just gonna go ahead and probably put on my wet n wild tinted hydrator it is like five dollars it's amazing i'm gonna put that on and then i will come back and oh wait you guys we have to play with this before the foundation um this is the be pure hydrating primer serum with rose oil so this actually looks really good it has rose flower extract and it says a hydrating primer for flawless makeup application and apply it like a serum allow for the primer to set for two minutes before applying foundation okay and this does have some like sparkles in it that i got is shimmer serum i use this more like on the body whereas this is more like they're like little tiny particles these are like chunky glitter it smells like roses I already did all my skincare and stuff for the day, so I just love doing skincare. Love, love it. I morning and night I like try not to ever miss my skincare routine. Bring it down the neck. I did have this pimple over here on my neck, speaking of neck, and I was like, what the heck? Where did that come from? I don't know. But before my period is the really the only time I will break out. And that's another sign when I know that my cycle is coming. Nice though. Well, I can't say so nice, but I have had really just like good cycles recently. I have not had cramps. Um, I will have like the breakouts, but if I'm just getting a couple of pimples, I will take that over having like really painful cramps. Like I'm able to still, I know girls who say like they really can't do much when they get their period on like the heavy days, but my period will be like heavy for like a day or two and then it will be, and it's not even that heavy. And the main symptom I get is going to the bathroom, um, which also I do have to be like home for that. I'm sorry if this is TMI, but I also kind of like it because I feel like it just clears everything out. Like I feel like I'm just like getting rid of like toxins. So I actually don't mind that it's honestly good so i just make sure i stay hydrated um just that should be every day but especially during your period just make sure you're drinking your water um stay hydrated but i feel really really good about my food all the foods i'm eating and i feel like that has contributed so much to just being healthy and having good cycles because i actually heard from this other one just like this dry down oh it feels really good you guys really good okay so so far this is another good one um, but I've heard that your cycle really isn't supposed to be super painful, um, which it might mean you have some sort of underlying something. I don't know exactly what, but definitely good to get your hormones checked out and your levels with like a naturopathic doctor because the regular doctor isn't going to give you all that information. You want to go to someone who literally specializes in looking at blood and like knows all the specifics. Um, uh, that is something that I want to do so badly i actually found a doctor who specializes in that and she is amazing and um it's not covered by insurance which sinks but the blood tests that she does are covered by insurance but her like analysis isn't um because it's not like a regular doctor but she looks at literally everything in your blood not just like vitamin d thyroid like she has like intense like charts and stuff but i have never gotten my blood drawn before and to do this test she requires 15 vials of blood and when i heard that i was like oh my gosh so i was so scared although nick was like maybe i should do it because i'm not scared meaning like he's not scared and i was like okay you can do it first maybe i'll see how it goes for you because he also wanted to get his blood 
blood work done on your chest as well so yeah if you guys can find a naturopathic doctor you can just google and see if there's one in your area but on my foundation the foundation laid really nicely over the primer serum and now i'm just using the be pure hydrating under eye concealer you guys this is such a good product i actually i'm using a little concealer brush as well i actually saw someone say that they use this all over their face which i have not tried yet but i thought that was pretty cool and lately i have been trying to just make my under eyes look more natural so using a brush helps so much with that to lay down the concealer in a more natural way and i'm just bringing this up also along the side of the eye i like this concealer because it has coverage but it's not drying hence the name hydrating sometimes i've been noticing with dollar tree they've been like following trends really well so when they see a trend going on it seems like they follow suit and will kind of like go along with the trend and put out their own version this powder by the way is so pretty it's not dollar tree it's road dial and it is like a blurring powder and it makes your skin let's try a new product this is the strawberry scented blush this is from be pure and this is actually a physician's formula look like dupe whatever you want to call it so i'm excited to see how this is there was another one that had like a highlighter in the middle but i wanted to try this one because i wanted just like a pinky color and look how cute these are they're like kind of they're kind of mini i think this might be an overspray these little strawberries but let's see I'm gonna tap off the excess and wow that actually gave really nice color see that and oh my gosh it's so pretty oh I forgot to put on lashes you guys I have to pick which ones I want to do. That is such a pretty blush. I am actually really impressed with this little cutie. Okay, then let's do... I have a new shade of the contour stick that I love. This is the contour stick from LA Colors in Medium. Usually I use tan. I think I also got deep as well just because I was like, I love this product. I'm going to go under the cheekbones and then we'll blend this out. I will just use a foundation brush to blend this out. Okay, then I want to try out this LA Colors brow pencil. It just kind of looks like a regular eyeliner. This is in soft brown. So I usually prefer something a little smaller. But let's see, I'm gonna also put in some like glue, brow glue and stuff. So this is the pencil, you can see it's just like a regular pencil. And usually what I'll do, I'll show you guys, I will go in and like spike up my brow. So just fluff them up. I feel like this makes it easier to do your brows when you have like a little bit of hold in them beforehand. And then let's see how let's see how this is i like to start at the bottom or the front of the brow hmm okay i think the color is pretty good I actually like this I think it's a pretty decent brow pencil it's a little on the waxy side um, so it's like not 100% my favorite but it gets the job done in with the elf brow lift hopefully Dollar Tree again will come out with something like this maybe in a couple months I'm just like assuming because they've been pretty good at following the trends recently so I would probably assume it would be maybe something smaller but i can see them coming out with something like this maybe be pure and i'm just fluffing those bad boys up 
for lashes really liking how the makeup is looking um lashes i have the ardell aqua lashes which are supposed to like wet and then stick on i might do that and i might just like cut them and then i have the wispy natural long crisscross but i kind of want to try the aqua lash um because i want to see how these work it is in um the demi wispies did i say that already which is like the classic ardell holy cow i know what people are saying the band is freaking thick it's like a hunky piece of glue on here my goodness okay i'm gonna cut this and i think i'm gonna do let's see uh, okay it says to hold it in warm water for 15 seconds so i'm gonna go do that 15 seconds let's see is it just gonna like stick this is so weird oh i think it's going he has been so crazy lately for like food like he wants food all the time like why are you so hungry oh, 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 oh hey now he's knocking stuff over um i mean it's on there i don't know how secure this is hi babe you want to sit with me okay okay good boy i don't know how secure this is a little weird it doesn't feel that heavy but it just kind of feels weird that the lash is kind of wet because i had to submerge it which is so weird it's like ee, trying to get it on there holy cow come on is it on <laughs> like this is so weird um okay you guys so I mean, they're on. Yeah, this one feels pretty good. It's like a weird piece of glue. And this one is on. It will be weird as a full lash. And I think it works better as a half lash. Put on some highlighter. So I'm going to go in with these Sassy and Chic mini sponges. It's like this cute little three-piece set. These are adorable. Absolutely love these LA Colors highlighters. I hope they bring these back. This is in candlelight. I'm just going to dab this on. Such a pretty highlighter. Oh my gosh, I love it. This little sponge is really good for these small spaces. I spray my face before I put on lower lash mascara with this Global Beauty Care Watermelon Glow Face Mist. I also got this, of course, at Dollar Tree. And it looks really good. So, let's see. And at five below. So I'm just gonna use this to dry my face. Oh my gosh, I love this thing. This is the second setting. Some people in my comments um, on my Instagram, I posted a video about this. They're like, the fan is so loud. I'm like, guys, really? It's really not that loud. This is the third setting. Okay, let's move on to lips. You guys, I am having so much fun testing everything out. I feel like I do need to go in um, and just touch up this white eyeliner a little. Oh, the sun came out, which is very nice. So let's move on to what I think is our last step, which is lips. So I have a bunch of new products from Ioni. I actually have three new lip products so first is this matte finish lip pencil this is in the bahamas you guys know they do like a bunch of themed collections so this is their summer collection bossa spice is the true name for it oh i like this color like i cannot see it's a very pretty color course we are overlining shea butter lipstick in china silk it looks like a really pretty kind of like nude 
color, which you guys know is like my up my alley. Yay, it's nude and it's pink. Ooh, these two look really pretty together. It's nice and silky. Lip Plumper Gloss in Glacier, and it says it's very spicy, so I'm nervous. Keep your lips glistening and moisturized, paraben-free and cruelty-free. I'm nervous, you guys. Let's see. Am I going to burn my freaking lips off? Hmm. Okay, let's see. Mm. Oh, oh, I feel it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty spicy. Woo! Should I put it on top? Is it actually not plump my lips out, or is it just gonna feel spicy? is the question okay it's not bad it's spicy but I'm not dying like I feel it feels hot it feels hot but oh it's I actually feel like as the time goes on it gets like spicier yeah <laughs> oh my gosh I feel like this video is gonna be so long you guys wow okay guys we are done I think this is the completed makeup look I actually really love this I feel like it's like glam, not too crazy. Like I feel like it has a little bit of like a naturalness to it at the same time. And I want to keep my head in because I really think it's so cute. So that is everything, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's Dollar Tree makeup tutorial. 